Hi friends! The color fastness against the rubbing test determines the resistance of color of any type of textile materials and their resistance to smearing colors into other textile goods. In this test, we use a crock meter that can move forwards and backwards along a straight line. Cotton crocking fabrics with dimensions of 50 mm by 50 mm a desized, bleached, unvarnished rubbing fabric, distilled water and a precision balance. The samples are subjected to at least four hours of standard atmospheric conditions before testing. The sample preparation begins with spreading the test samples on a flat surface after the conditioning process. When preparing the sample, the fabric sample should not be taken from places that are too close to the selvages. The sampling should be initiated from a distance of 150 mm. Also, the samples should not be taken from fold marks and wrinkled areas of fabric. When preparing the samples, it must be made sure that they are not smaller than 50 mm by 140 mm in size. Four test samples in total are prepared, two of them for dry rubbing and two of them for wet rubbing. When the samples are drawn, the samples should be taken in a way that they do not include the same warp and weft yarns. The samples, whose long edge is parallel to the warp, are tested along the warp direction, and the samples, whose long edge is parallel to the weft, are tested along the weft direction. The samples we have drawn are cut properly with scissors. If the sample to be tested is made of yarn, it is tested by being coiled up around the cardboard in sizes of 50 mm by 140 mm parallel to the long edge. We then place the test sample in a way that it is parallel to the movement direction of the device and we close the device with clamps. We take the rubbing cloth and place it in the presser foot of the device for the dry rubbing test. Then 20 rubbing motions in total are applied, 10 times forwards and 10 times backwards by applying a forward-backward motion in a second. After completing this process, the dry rubbing test is ended. For the wet rubbing test, the cotton rubbing fabric is taken and soaked in distilled water so that it absorbs the water equal to its own weight in the precision balance. For the wet rubbing test, again, the sample is prepared at the same sizes. The samples are cut neatly with scissors again. We carefully place the sample in a way that it is parallel to the movement direction of the device. Then the rubbing fabric, which has absorbed as much distilled water as its own weight, is placed in the presser foot. Ten forward and ten backward motions are applied to the sample in a way that each cycle takes one second. As a result of this process, the wet rubbing test is completed. Then the samples wait for four hours for conditioning. At the end of four hours, the staining in the rubbing fabric 
is determined by the gray scale. When the test of color fasteners to rubbing is evaluated, we put three layers of cotton fabric under the sample that has been subjected to the test. Then we cover the sample with a mask and evaluate it with the staining scale. The values are available in the evaluation scale. One shows the worst value, whereas five shows the best value. We obtain the appropriate test result by comparing it with the scale.